today in front of me, you can see something quite boring. So, we've just got some old sandwiches. Now, my nan was in the land army, and she said that when they went out each day into the fields, they used to get given stale bread and hard cheese. And she said it wasn't really very palatable. So the girls would save their bread and their cheese, and when they got their egg ration, they would use one of their eggs to make a savoury bread and butter pudding. So that's what we're going to do today. So if you've got, sometimes you have a little tea party or a picnic, and you have some sandwiches left over, and they dry out a bit, and they're not very palatable like that. So this is something that we can do to use up ingredients that we've got lying around, rather than throwing things away. We don't want to be wasting food, particularly at this time. So, all I've done here is cheese and ham sandwiches that I had left over, and I'm going to put those into an oven dish. Now, I've got the oven heated to 200 degrees, and what we'll do is we'll just alternate these, so a ham and a cheese and a ham and a cheese, like that, into our pot. And then all we need to do is to whisk up some egg and some milk, add some salt and pepper, and then we're going to pour that over the top of this bread and butter pudding. Now, you may well have had a bread and butter pudding, but it's likely you've had it with sultanas and raisins, and it's been sweet and you have it with custard. Well, this is obviously a savoury one, so you can have it with a bit of salad, or some chips, or something like that. Now then, all we need to do is get our egg, crack it into our jug, and we're going to add to that some milk, pour that in, and some flavouring, so we'll do some salt and pepper. Now I also had in the fridge some pepperoni, so what I'm going to do to be quite decadent today not that my granny would have done this. She said that they added onions sometimes, because um, that's been something that they would have been growing. I'm going to add an odd slice of pepperoni through this. Between each sandwich. I'll do it between each sandwich. There we go. So we've got our pepperoni through this as well. And the oil will come out of the pepperoni and we'll soak into our bread as well and give it that extra flavour. You can always add other things. If you like a bit of spice, you could add some chilies, um, maybe some herbs. You could just experiment with what you've got around and use that. So we'll just give this a quick whisk. That way. And then all we have to do is pour that directly over the top of our sandwiches. So... That is what I will do now. So we're pouring it over the top, and then we're just going to leave it. We're doing it slowly so it can soak into the bread as it's pouring over, because that's what we want, is to have it nicely coated, and all that bread to soak up that mixture. So that's what we'll do. That's done. So there we go, that's in our dish, all there, soaking up all of that. So I'm going to leave this for a couple of minutes before I put it into the oven so that the bread can continue to soak up um, all that egg and milk mixture there. So I'm going to put that into the oven in a couple of minutes and leave it in the oven until it's toasty and golden brown on top. And I'll bring it out and I'll show it to you guys. See you in a minute. Well, these are out of the oven now. This is the one that I did that had the spring onion and a bit of extra cheese on top. Um, this one here that somebody has already pinched a bit of was the one with the pepperoni slices through it. So they're cooked, the egg is cooked through the bread, the cheese is melted, and it smells absolutely lovely. So I've got someone here, I'll serve up a plate. Which one did you want? That one. Okay, so we'll serve this up for Lily here, waiting patiently. And you'll be able to see what that looks like once it's on the plate. 
and we're going to add a little bit of coleslaw with that and also some cherry tomatoes but we've got a bit of salt and pepper and some chives through and there we are a little lunch plate there making our sandwiches a little more interesting and hopefully all this cooking is making our lives a bit more interesting as well while we're stuck at home so we'll see you all again soon thank you bye